Right, when the clock struck noon, South Africa's electricity supply crisis escalated to stage six rolling blackouts. From today, ESCOM has ramped up power cuts from stage two to four and now to stage six. This means South Africans and people living in South Africa will be without power for longer periods. ESCOMS has been consistently rationing power since the beginning of December, September. Rather, The power utility says the move to stage six is due to further breakdowns at its various power stations since midnight and that it has experienced delays in returning some of its generating units to service. The power utility implemented stage three power cuts at the start of this week due to a high number of breakdowns, while it was also working to preserve the remaining emergency generation reserves. So ESCOM spokesperson Sikonati Machanja joins us now, f joins us for more. Sikonati, thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Just give us more detail about why there will be stage six blackouts in South Africa. Zina, thank you for having me over. Uh, we, we have had, uh, we, we've been uh, issuing this uh, warning uh, for at least three months now that we, we will have a very difficult period over the next six to 12 months in, in fully supplying uh, the demand uh, in the country. Th that's because one, uh, we have had three units uh, at Kusile power station being taken offline when one of them suffered a chimney failure, that, uh, stru that structural failure affects the other two as well. That th those three units uh, are responsible for 2,100 megawatts of capacity, which is two stages of load shedding, and, and they will not return to service uh, until at least another uh, uh, four to six months. So that, mm. that, 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 that's where we are mm. with regards to Gusile. Uh, at midnight tonight, we will take off unit one of the Kubek power station for a, for a planned long-term uh, outage, which includes the, the, the regular refueling and maintenance outage. And that unit again will be off for at least a period of six months. It, it, it's, it's scheduled to return to service during June. So all of this has, has taken off really 4,000 megawatts of capacity from an already constrained capacity. And, and that is, is certainly what is delivering us in, 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 this, uh, in this regrettable situation of stage six. All right, so you said there's stage six until further notice. You've given me timelines now. There's going to be challenges for a year to six months. So with this further notice, can you narrow it down? So can we expect for the next month, for the next six months, the next quarter, or forever to experience stage six load shedding? The reality is that we will have various stages of load shedding over the of, over the coming period as we have had in the past uh, the difficulties that i'm talking about uh, will certainly exist and increase uh, uh, during the next six to twelve months uh, it is not possible for me to say we will uh, have a continuous stage six that's not possible we will at times reduce uh, to no to no load shedding at all for a brief period and at times we will operate at, at stages between three and two the reality is we will continue to have a significant uh, risk of load shedding over the next six months. When we said to you uh, in due course, we will be able to, uh, to communicate. That's with regards to the current load shedding at stage six. We will publish a statement as soon as we, we are able to give a clear timeline as to when this situation might change for the better. Let's, let's be frank again, Zima. That will not to say there will be an end of load shedding when we publish that statement. We will only be able to give you a, a guide as to what you can expect during the next week or, or indeed the next few days. All right, just help me understand. Demand yeah. plays a role in what capacity you have as ESCOM because in the middle of summer, if breakdowns are causing blackouts to this extent, what can we then expect in winter? As I have said, you in the next six to 12 months, our situation will really be bad uh, in that the capacity that I have mentioned to you, at least 4,000 megawatts from uh, four major units, uh, we will not be available. So we, we are now having stage six, precisely because we have another uh, 5,000 megawatts that has been deliberately placed on planned maintenance in order to prepare for the winter. The reality, we will continue to have load shedding during the winter. This period is the high maintenance season, which is why we have 5,000 megawatts uh, out. When you return those, uh, the situation will get better, but it will not take us, uh, take us out of load shedding, unfortunately. 
When can people living in South Africa expect ESCOM to deliver on its mandate, which is to provide electricity in an efficient and sustainable manner without provisos or caveats? We have been saying this for the past at least three years, that this country requires additional capacity, new power stations to be built uh, between 4,000 and 6,000 megawatts. With, with each day that passes and, and, and these machines that we currently are relying on, uh, they, they get older and they get even more damaged as we have to run them down. So until such time that South Africa can build new capacity, and that is a, a, a responsibility that lies with the government, uh, or the government can give ESCOM the instruction and indeed the means or anyone else that can build power stations. Unfortunately, only then can we be able to say load shedding will be a thing of the past. The reality is, if that decision is not being made, if no capacity is coming on, we will continue to have these problems. So for the foreseeable future, as people living in South Africa, we are going to be experiencing rolling blackouts. And going into winter, there's not a guarantee that perhaps there's going to be uh, less load shedding. You are trying, but it sounds like you don't. There's no... There's no plan to ensure that this doesn't happen in winter. We could see even perhaps higher than stage six. ESCOM is maintaining the power stations that it, is, it can operate. And these are the stations that are already in existence, which are on average 44 years of, of age. And uh, as you can see, are, are really becoming a challenge in terms of reliability. So that will not change with regards to these stations. We are uh, ramping up maintenance and doing all the maintenance we can. Mm -hmm to keep them online for as long as we possibly can. The reality is to get rid of these capacity constraints, new power stations, new generation capacity have to be built. Sikonati Manjanja, ESCOM spokesperson, joining us there. As we heard a little bit earlier on, stage six load shedding until further notice. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News.